Experience can bring discernment. This is uh, the old Kenny Rogers adage. you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, right? There is a DIY type show called Flip or Flop. Have you seen this? Oh, yeah. Not, oh, yeah. A, not about retirement planning, but it is about uh, a couple that buys foreclosed or cheap homes, often without uh, really knowing the state they're in. They walk in. They have to renovate them and try to turn a profit. Sometimes that works out. Sometimes that doesn't. And there are some mindsets and strategies out there that are flops as you approach retirement, too. One is investments alone. And that's maybe not a mindset that you really think about, but some people think if they have a 401k statement, John, they've got a retirement plan. Yeah, that is not a retirement plan. Let me let me reemphasize that. Your 401k is not a retirement plan. It is a retirement account that is part of a plan if you happen to have one. If you don't happen to have that retirement plan, then really all you have is a package of investments. And that is not what you need and so that is why that's why it qualifies as a flop when it comes to financial planning that mindset shift that has to occur is to transition from accumulation to decumulation that's, that's not right. a word we really want to use we like distribution <laughs> i like yep. that decumulation suggests that it's all going away you don't want it to go to zero of course but the withdrawal strategy matters here investments alone in other words my uh, my 401k statement i have a million dollars well what does that really mean if that's all you have and you don't have a plan, we would say that is a flop. And another flop is savings alone, because I think the mindset shift that does naturally occur for people who are getting close to retirement, thinking they have reached financial independence, is to take all of the risk off of the table and camp all of their life savings out in very safe investments. And certainly, part of the plan does need to be that part of the assets are invested very conservatively. The money that you're going to use in the near term, we would say, yes, that's part of your plan. But to put all of it into safe investments, you are actually accepting another risk. Look, let's take a look at what's going on right now. CDs have popped up in, in terms of the interest that's paid on a CD and you can probably get about 4% right now on a fairly short-term CD. I mean, I actually bought a two-month CD, right around 4%. There so. you go. Yep. So think about that. Uh, and that's prorated over, a, that's an annualized rate of return. They're not going to pay you 4% for just two what? months. That'd be okay. <laughs> but I'll take four. That, 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 would be, that would be definitely good. But here's, here's my point. If you look at where CD rates are at 4%, where's inflation? Six mm-hmm. was, eight, yep. nine, whatever it was earlier this year. So... Uh, you're never going to get ahead of inflation by playing it safe. By definition, safe money investments are going to underperform the rate of inflation. Uh, look at it historically. It's almost always done that. So what you've got to do is you've got to have a strategy to keep you in a situation where you can increase your income over time. Everybody wants a pay raise, even in retirement. People need and want to have extra money coming in to offset the rising prices that they experience at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Even if you're behind Scott and he's (laughs) gone to get some bread and he's holding up the line or whatever it is. So you've got to deal with that. And uh, that's why that is a flop as well, because going safe at retirement doesn't allow you to thrive. We actually did a fastest four uh, minutes in finance last week on CDs, and there could be a place for some of your sideline money there, right? Because sure. if you're planning to use that in the near term, 4% is pretty good if you're not going to use it for 12 months, but you are going to use it after that. But when John's speaking about staying ahead of inflation, there has to be a component to your investments, even in retirement. Retirement is not the stop sign. It is merely the yield sign. And you have to have an exposure to equities to be able or other asset classes, which the only other one historically that has outpaced inflation is real estate. Those asset classes, if you're allocated to that over the long haul and the long time horizon gives you a better shot at outpacing inflation. 